if you want to be in the know, this is the place to be. Imagine a gigantic space filled with all of these incredible, innovative brands. Skincare, hair care, cosmetic, oral care, you name it. There's a lot of media here, there's a lot of influencers here, a lot of trade retail distributors, so it's a really nice place for new brands to talk to potential partners, really tell their story, as well as network within the community itself. Oftentimes, there's a story behind the product, so it's not just a lipstick, or it's not just a scrub. These founders are really going through the thought process on manufacturing their products. I just moderated a panel, PR 101. It was all about how to get in front of media influencers. I was joined by Jessica Chia of Allure, Rachel Lapidos of Well and Good, Allison Collins of WWD and Cheryl Wish over a rack. It was really interesting to hear from them directly as to what their recommendations are and tips. We look at the beauty space and when you look at what occurred last year, those big beauty brands, L'Oreal, Estee Lauder, they are going after these indie brands. A lot of these indie brands see a lot of opportunity to come out now given all of the hype over the past few years. The first year was 80 brands. The second year was 130. Today is 227. So that is very telling about the demand. You can't compare it to social media. You can't compare it to an email. There's something extremely valuable. When you get here and you can smell and touch and shake the hand of a founder, there's nothing like it.